Good morning and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. Today on the channel, we got ash. We got another load to go get. Stick around. So once again, we will get the uh, 500 eye out and get some of this stuff cut up. And this one main stick here, actually it looks good here, but you can see down on this other end, it's got a hole and it's got some ants. There's definitely uh, going to be some ants in this one. The good old creepy crawlies. Well, that's a uh, pretty good load of logs here. And it was the best kind of load of logs. It was a uh, FREE -E. and it's a good load of ash. And actually, ironically, when we dumped that load of pine, I was going to load up some uh, gum that he had over there and bring it over here and continue splitting it. But my tree guy saw me outside and said, hey, I've got ash. Come get it. So we went and got it. Well, we've got the essential items out here so that we can get chopping into some of this ash. We've got the chaps. We've got the almighty MS 500i steel chainsaw. We've got our mixed gas, which we use the Echo red armor i've got uh some bar oil which is actually mystic bar oil right now we've got two forms of superior hydration we have water and then in my half gallon jug i've got water with lmnt and also a scoop of k1000 both superior electrolyte hydration products then we have our 3m work tunes our hearing protection We've got some gloves. We've got my personal cell phone. That way I can have some tunes in my 3M work tunes. And then eat your heart out, Mr. Timber Cutter Patriot. I've got a perfect stick and I'm going to cut perfect wood every single time. So practice does make perfect when you use a perfect stick. The only other thing I could add to the items on the axis, or should I say Jaxis, is a pair of safety glasses. But it's so humid out here right now that if I put glasses on, I'm going to sweat through them and they'll fog up on me and actually becomes a safety issue. So I will take my chances with the flying sawdust and cut without them.
Well, we still have a couple pieces of ash here to finish cutting up, but I'm gonna go through and separate some of this stuff. Uh, some of the gnarlier stuff that's got crotchy, nasty pieces are gonna go to the 916. And some of the nicer stuff that I can make into bundle wood because ash seasons very quickly, we will bust that up with the Jaxus. All right, we'll change the plans. Instead of me having to roll this stuff around and touch it twice, I'm just going to fire the axis up, back my trailer up, and we're going to start splitting some of that stuff now. That way I'm not touching it as many times as I would have had to if uh, I was moving it and stacking it. Let's try this. I think it'll work better. <laughs> Well, in typical log cabin firewood fashion, we're jumping all over the place, but we got a delivery. Let's go see what we got. Well, yesterday when we split up the, uh, the pine, I ended up getting that call from my tree guy and I got two loads of ash. And then subsequently on Facebook, I saw a post from firewood at the furnace and they said they had a load of cherry. And here we go. We got Mr. Brad here with a nice load of cherry. This thing is full. So we'll have some smoker wood coming up here soon. Well, I definitely think that this load here was bigger than the first one. And I think it's primarily because it's a lot of smaller pieces and the smaller pieces don't take up as much space. And this is an entire load of cherry, except for one piece, There's a piece of maple down here, but it's a nice straight stick. But uh, 
I will probably get to this in two or three weeks because I've got a few things lined up at the house we got to take care of. But this will make a nice, beautiful couple cords of cherry smoker wood. So once again, Brad from Firewood at the Furnace, thanks for this awesome load, man. I appreciate your help. So it is very nice that I've been helping out the neighbor and he's been helping me out and that I called him yesterday when I found out about that load of cherry and said, hey, look, my driveway's full. Do you mind if I put this load of cherry at your house? And he said, no problem. So take care of people, they take care of you. Now, that's what I mean by take care of each other. But uh, we are going to continue splitting up on this ash. Um, I decided that I'm just gonna keep blasting through it with the axis. Um, I did throw a couple bigger pieces over here that are just wonky pieces or full of ants. And I'll split that with the 916, but everything over here, we'll just keep splitting with the axis. got a majority of this stuff that was cut uh, split up and I've been going through and putting bundle grade stuff into the wheelbarrow and I'll wheel that over and stack that but we got a uh, little bit split in the trailer not a bunch it's almost half full probably two-thirds full we got a pile of cookies and we still got more stuff to get cut through but I've got to go to work so I need to go take a nap but everybody, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend, a great week. Stay safe, take care of each other, and come back next Saturday at 6.30 a.m. We'll have a lot more firewood and chainsaw and Easton made wood splitter action. See you guys. Thank you so much for watching.